Hey everyone and Merry Christmas! You've guessed it, today will be my Christmas special video. So I'll be sharing with you a few of my favourite sweets to make at Christmas time. Sweets at Christmas is my specialty. So I'll be sharing with you my Christmas cupcakes, my Christmas brownies, mini chocolate puddings with a twist and shortbread. Christmas is my favourite time of year. I love spending this time with family. Not only do I have Christmas, I've got my uncle's birthday on the 22nd, my brother's on the 23rd, and then my mum's on the 26th. It is a crazy time. Lots of baking, lots of food, lots of happy faces. I love Christmas so much. Anyway, on Christmas Day, my family has this little tradition where we jump in the pool and we play pool volleyball. Because, you know, down under, it is hot. Usually we're averaging like 30 degrees on Christmas. So I'd like to know what you guys do for Christmas. What's your family tradition? What do you all like to do together? Something special? Or do you just like to have a casual day? I'd love to know. Anyway, if you do make any of these recipes, please let me know in the comments down below. Let me know how they went. Let me know what you changed. Also, if you want to tag me on Instagram, my tag is at Felicity's Fresh Foods. I'd love to see your creations there. I'd love to see you tag me in those. I'd be so excited. So please tag me on Instagram. Anyway, I bet you're dying to see these creations from me. So let's go to the kitchen. So the first recipe we're starting with is the Christmas brownies. So you might recognize this recipe because this is the triple chocolate fudge brownie recipe minus the triple chocolate fudge pieces. So just follow along. If you've already made this recipe, you know how to do it. I just took out the chocolate pieces just because I didn't want to add too much extra sugar to these because this time around we'll put a buttercream icing on top. Once you've melted your butter and your caster sugar, you'll move on to the dry ingredients next. So the dry ingredients are 195 grams of plain flour, 65 grams of cocoa powder, and 1 8 of a teaspoon of baking powder. If you don't have 1 8 of a teaspoon, half 1 quarter of a teaspoon. So you'll sift all that together in the bowl. I use the back of a spoon to get those last final pieces through the sieve. Make a well in the center of the brownies and then you'll add four eggs. You can pre-whisk these eggs before you add them if you wish, it's totally up to you. Then you'll add half a teaspoon of vanilla essence. And then finally the butter and caster sugar mix. You'll need to fold this mixture through just like I do. Make sure you don't overfold it. Once it's all mixed together, that's fine. Then you'll pop it into a pan. My pan was, I think, about 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. And then you'll pop it into a preheated oven of 180 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes. Just check on your brownie after the 20 minute point. Once it's ready, you'll want to leave it on the bench for at least a few hours. Like I wanted mine to be completely cool. See my little note there, do not cut until completely cool. Otherwise your brownie will sort of crumble and you know the ooziness of the brownie will melt out. Whereas you don't want that to happen, you want it to be solid brownie at this point. Now we'll move on to the buttercream icing, which we will use to ice our brownies and also our Christmas cupcakes, which will be coming up. So you'll start off with 220 grams of icing sugar, 110 grams of softened butter. Then you'll give this a little bit of a whisk. Once it gets to this point, you might need to add a little bit of water. So I added one tablespoon of warm water and then I went back to the whisking. Once your buttercream comes to this sort of consistency where you can put it through a piping bag and pipe it, it is ready to go. You'll need food colour for this point so you can colour your buttercream a nice green colour to make some Christmas tree brownies. Now I only have one proper 
piping bag um, and I knew I was going to be using lots of different colors. So I bought some cheap Ziploc bags from the supermarket. I cut off the end of the Ziploc bags, not too much. You might need to check with your nozzles how big or small you need your um, snips. And then you will use some sticky tape just to reinforce that plastic bag so it doesn't split open. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell so you don't miss any of my future upcoming videos. And I upload a new video every Friday at 5 p.m. Anyway, once you've put your uh, nozzle in your piping bag, put it into a glass. I found this to be quite easy and pop your bag open over the glass and then you'll add your cream. Before I piped it out onto my brownie, I tested it first on just some of the spare baking paper I had. So anyway, just decorate it however you like. This is just one of the ways I decorated my little brownie trees. But just experiment and have fun with whatever nozzles you have. You'll find some really cute patterns in there and you'll look at them and go, I wonder what this does. Just play around, it's really fun. Then you'll get a candy cane and you'll want a piece oh, about three centimeters long and so you can shove it in the base of the tree. That way it can be like a little tree stump. It's really cute. I also wanted to make some present brownies so then I went back to the original brownie piece and cut them up into little squares and then you'll decorate them with a flat nozzle with your icing mixture and just create whatever colors you like your presents to be. Now I really struggled making black icing so if anyone has any tips for me on how to make black icing I would love to hear it. So now we're moving on to the Christmas cupcake recipe. So first of all, you will start with 180 grams of softened butter, followed by 110 grams of caster sugar. Now you're gonna think this next bit is weird. Um, use two eggs. What I did the first time making this uh, mixture, I only made enough for like five cupcakes and I was like, oh no. So anyway, I've doubled the mixture for you guys so you don't end up with like only five cupcakes. So follow what I've written down. So two eggs, then you'll use 110 grams of self-raising flour and four tablespoons of cocoa powder. So trust me, everything I've written down is the correct portions for around 10 to 12 cupcakes. Our final ingredient is two tablespoons of milk. Then you'll pop them in a preheated oven of 180 degrees Celsius for eight to 15 minutes. Just keep checking on them, okay? Because you, you don't want to burn them. They're your Christmas cupcakes, you want to get them right. Okay, let those cupcakes cool. And now we're going to move on to the shortbread. This shortbread recipe is actually on the back of the rice flour Mackenzie's box. So fun fact there, so it's 225 grams of plain flour, 115 grams of Mackenzie's rice flour. I love this recipe. That's why I always use this recipe every Christmas. Then you'll add 115 grams of caster sugar. How cute is this little salt and pepper shaker? Santa's boots. Anyway, so you'll have a one pinch of salt in there. Then you'll have 225 grams of butter at room temperature, so you want it softened. And then you'll get in there with your fingertips and rub it all together. Mm. 
Once your mixture looks like this and starts to sort of stick together, you are ready to start putting it into a ball. I didn't use, I didn't grab the whole mixture, just I found it was going to be way too much to spread out and roll out onto my bench. So I actually went, I think I broke it up into thirds. So over your super clean bench, or if you have a big enough chopping board for this, you will sprinkle lightly some plain flour, just so your dough won't stick to whatever surface you're rolling onto, and you'll gently roll it out. Don't put too much force onto that rolling pin, otherwise your shortbread is just going to stick to the bench, and that is super annoying. The thickness of my shortbread was roughly uh, about eight millimeters. So it wasn't like a full centimeter. Anyway, I grabbed this really cool reindeer sleigh last year from Spotlight on Boxing Day sales for 50 cents. So I was like, why not? Because I think its original retail price was $15. So I thought I'll give it a go and I'll pop it in this YouTube video and we'll see if it works. Sometimes my shortbread sort of um, expands out and doesn't really lose its shape but kind of loses its nice clean edges so we'll see how the reindeer turns out once you pull them out of the oven you'll want to let them completely cool on a cooling rack now let's move over to the royal icing this icing will be used for the shortbread that we just made so we have two cups of icing sugar two tablespoons of meringue powder, and three tablespoons of warm water. You'll mix that all in until it is nice and smooth like this. Then you'll need to add some extra water. Well, I did anyway, because um, it was just too thick to go through a piping bag. Um, I added a whole tablespoon there, but that was way too much. So I had to add more icing powder, it was a whole thing. Um, so just gradually add some extra water if you need to, okay? So then you'll put your royal icing through a icing bag and then you'll pipe it out like this. Got this idea from Baking with J plus Dan from their YouTube channel because I saw them do this and I told them that I would give it a go. And guys, I really liked it. So thank you so much for that. It was a little bit more time consuming, but there was so much less mess and the icing looked really nice and smooth. So thank you guys. Anyway, this was me constructing the reindeer and sleigh. I had to take it off that plate because it just would not stand. Um, I didn't really like how it turned out. I didn't think it looked that great, personally. Um, I should have shown you guys from a different angle, so I do apologize for that, but you didn't really miss out on that much. So moving on to the Christmas cupcakes. So this first one that I'm going with is the snowman. Um, and I used the royal icing for this one, just because the royal icing gave it that nice white color and that melted effect. Then I pushed in a marshmallow and then I decorated the little snowman as you would a normal snowman. Now this was a nozzle that I hadn't actually used before and I looked at it and thought, oh, maybe it'll give me like a leaf sort of effect, which it actually did. And I was like, oh, that is so cool. So I made like a little wreath cupcake. I really had fun making this one. And then I make another similar one a little bit later. Um, yeah, just have fun. Check out the nozzles that you have. Just go to town with it. Now this is the Rudolph uh, cupcake. I really should have used that smooth piping bag, the one that I'm using here for the brown, um, but I was lazy and didn't want to wash it. So we came out with this rough sort of texture, but that's okay. It's like the fur of a reindeer, right? Anyway, using a pretzel, break it up and that can be his little antlers. Um, push them into the cupcake as I do with that second one there and then go back to the first one to push it in. Um, Otherwise, it'll just fall off the cupcake.
Now our last but not least is our mini Christmas puddings with a twist, okay? So you'll use Arnott Royal Biscuits and spearmint leaves and red lollies. So you'll cut your spearmint leaves just how I do here in the video. And then you'll cut your red lolly up into small little pieces. Now this is a pretty common Australian um, Christmas pudding that we like to make. I've seen lots of people make these and my mum and I have been making these ever since I was a kid and I'm sure my mum made them back when she was a kid. Um, I just thought I'd share it because I wasn't sure if everyone else around the world knows about this. I don't even know if you guys have these biscuits, but if you do, you should totally give it a go. They look super cute once they're done. Um, so if you do get the chance to make these, someone from another country, let me know. Um, let me know if you liked them or maybe you can't actually find those biscuits in your shops. But if you can't find those biscuits in your shops, maybe you could get marshmallows and coat them in chocolate yourself. Anyway, so um, what we had there was some melted white chocolate and we'll dip the mini pudding in there and then we'll put our lollies on top, just like this. Oh, they super cute, I love these. Dip them. So we are at the end of the video. I will show you what everything looked like together on a Christmas plate. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing Christmas and a great new year. Let's hope for 2021 to be better than this year.